Escondido. Escondido. Hey adventurers! Hey! We're back from Dixon Lake. As always, what did you think? I was surprised. I didn't think... Actually, I guess I didn't know what to expect. We've never been there before. Mm -hmm. And I didn't expect there to be such a good view um, from one of the lookouts. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I thought... Uh, I mean, some municipal parks can be lackluster, but it was really a nice treat to be able to, to hike around the lake. And as we were getting down to the lake, you get that beautiful view of Escondido, mm -hmm. uh, the overlook. And I just thought that was, that was the, for me, the high point of the hike. I, shh, we're going to get to that part later. That's fair. That's fair. I'm <laughs> jumping ahead of ourselves. So, well, as always, we do have our five criteria when it comes to the hikes. And the first one being? Uh, is it worth the cost? Uh -huh. Which there is a day use fee uh -huh. if you park in their parking lot. Yep, and I would say that we were showing up, what, about 9 a.m., 9.30? I think so, yeah. Yeah, there is a side lot that is free parking, but that was full by the time we got there around 9.30. So I would highly recommend if you can float the $5 cash only um, go ahead and park inside of uh, Dixon Lake Recreational Center because uh, it was definitely plenty of parking and uh, made coming back to the car that much easier. Mm -hmm. And the second question is accessibility. How easy is it to get to? I would say it's really easy to get to. Um, the address is 1700 La Honda Drive. You can just put that in Google and it'll take you straight there. Um, really accessible. Um, even driving in, getting in, paying the parking fee, um, made it really easy to find parking close to the site of the trail and then um, heading in too. Also what's great about the accessibility is there are plenty of uh, picnic areas as well as other um, sites on the recreational center that you can enjoy. Yeah there are plenty of parking lots especially because it is also a fishing lake mm -hmm. so there was parking that's closer to the actual lake so that you can just bring your stuff over and walk around and pick your spot um, we didn't park in the one that's right next to the lake because the trailhead was, wasn't there. <laughs> so we just parked in, I think you went straight in and then it was like to the left, like the yes. first road to the left. Yes, and one thing I would note about accessibility is when you get to the trailhead, there is an image on the uh, poster board of the trail itself. Highly recommend taking a picture of it with your phone. Um, because when you get into the trail itself, the GPS kind of has a mind of its own. So we recommend that as a backup plan to get you back to where your car is. Mm -hmm. I couldn't play Pokemon Go while we were That was walking. a big, big problem. <laughs> we definitely want to take a picture of the map just because there are a few trails that can lead away from the lake. And if you want to do that, you can do those. Um, but keep in mind when you get to the dam as well, that is closed off. So there is a little side trail to get down to the lake. And then from that point, you're essentially just walking around the lake with like the fisherman, I guess, kind of trail. Yes. Fisher person trail, yes. I should say. All right, so our next criteria is maintenance. So how well maintained was Dixon Lake? I thought it was pretty well maintained. 
Um, the trails that we went on were, I didn't see any trash on the trails at all. Um, when you're going around the lake, it's a little bit tight, but it's still very easy to maneuver through. Um, I don't know about during the summer, like bugs wise, maybe you'll want to wear some pants when you're, especially when you're going around that lake trail, just because first of all, you're close to the water, but some of the, the branches do kind of brush up against your legs. So mm -hmm. making sure you don't get any critters on you. Yep. And in regards to uh, bathrooms, I believe there are uh, flushable facilities uh, around the location, but at the trailhead, there was a, uh, a porta potty. I did not use it, so I don't know the condition of it, but from the overall look of uh, the recreational area, I think it's probably very well named. And then the fourth question is crowds. Was it crowded? How many people were there? So it was actually on the trail itself. It wasn't crowded at all. Um, but we did have quite a few uh, fisher people or fishermen um, on the lake itself. Uh, so I would say about 20 to 25 total mm -hmm. um, across the whole lake, which uh, m might sound like a lot, but the lake's quite large. And so they were well spread out. And the trail genu or genuinely, generally isn't right next to where the people are fishing. So you're still not getting that close to people if you're going during times of COVID and worrying about your mask. We did put our masks on when we were walking around the lake, but honestly, we probably didn't need to because we didn't interact with that many people. Yeah, so I would say if you're just staying to the trails, uh, you might get some mask off time, which is really nice to take in the whole trail, uh, especially the pockets of sage that we found mm -hmm. around the trails. Uh, it was a, a pleasant experience to, to smell that as we were going around. All right, and finally we have, what is the one thing you want to remember from this hike? <laughs> well, he stole mine in the beginning of this video, but um, there's a point when you, I guess kind of when you first see the lake, you get to also see this beautiful view of Escondido uh, through like the, the hills. And that view definitely was worth the entire experience. Um, also just getting to see all the wildlife too around the lake. There were so many mm -hmm. birds. Mm -hmm. um, we could hear frogs too, we didn't see any, but they're definitely there. Yeah, well, okay, so she took the second part, which was the wildlife. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it was great to see um, that much diversity in that local area. Again, you're, you're pretty close to civilization. Um, you know, you're surrounded by it. So it's nice to be engaged with nature and the wildlife around you. Um, so there is, it's kind of like a, a secluded pocket of nature that you get to experience right in you know, the middle of Escondido. Yeah, I'd say that I don't remember hearing many car, car sounds at all from the trails, um, especially because you do have that like parking area, so you have that gap between that and there's still a smaller road that's it just shoots off of the main road so you're pretty far away from like actual traffic yeah so i would definitely say for uh, dixon lake if you're looking for something very close but still have that sense of being secluded uh, you will definitely get that at dixon lake i also think this is this is another trail that is great for kids too um, the trail itself isn't very hard there's a minimal mm -hmm. um, elevation gain loss throughout it and it'd just be fun for the kids to walk around the lake too and see all of the animals and mm -hmm. possibly do some fishing, picnicking when you're done. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to do there. Oh, and the great thing too is if you are 60 plus, the parking uh, fee is free. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, feel free to take advantage of that closer parking for yourself. Well, with that, we again appreciate you watching this video. Um, please leave us a comment down below of things that you would like to see in the future as well. We'd love to have your ideas. As always, please hit like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Okay, bye. Bye.